He said it is funny and it is also anti Nigeria in a very bad shape because I'm wondering what will President Buhari be discussing in a global educational summit. This is a man that has just a secondary school certificate, a school cert failure, and unfortunately, that certificate we have not seen it, no copy of it at all. And you are going to a global educational summit where you have Professor Emeritus, where you have intellectual mobile characters, and Buari is going to sit down and discuss what. Dino also said that a said person, Muhammad Buari, will just go for the educational summit, sit down, observe, and pretend to be deaf and dumb, that he doesn't see any reasonable contribution that the president will give in a global educational summit. He also said that President Muhammad Ubari would have just told us plainly that he was going to the United Kingdom for medical checkup and would have accepted that wholeheartedly rather than saying he would be representing Nigeria in a global educational summit. Dino Belaya is not the only person who has criticized the move of President Muhammad Ubari uh, to attend the global educational summit. Rino Omokwe, former AD to ex President Goodluck Jonathan, that he is in the United Kingdom of London and at the Abuja house where President Muhammad Ubari is currently absent and has not been seen anywhere around. He said he has people positioned all around ready to embarrass the President back to Nigeria telling him to fix the country and seek medical attention in Nigeria rather than flying out of the country every now and then to seek medical attention. Something he accused the former President of when he said that former President Goodluck Jonathan was globetrotting in his campaign to become the president in 2015. Meanwhile, in other news, the Nigeria Bar Association has sued the president of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, and the Nigerian Communication Commission for the suspension of the microblogging and social media site Twitter in Nigeria. In a suit that was filed at the Federal High Court in Lagos, the Nigerian Bar Association said that the actions and directives of the government is gravely infringing on the fundamental rights of the applicant, in this case, the Nigerian Bar Association. They also added that there is no law that criminalizes the use of Twitter in Nigeria, adding that the president and the NCC unilaterally, without due process, contrary to the constitutionally guaranteed right of the applicant, the NBA in this question, suspended the operation of the microblogging and social media site Twitter in the Nigerian cyberspace. They also said that this is a breach of the applicant's right to freedom of expression and the press, guaranteed under Section 30 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, amended of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended, and also Article 9 of the African Charter of Human and People's Rights Act of 1983, and also Articles 19 of the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights. The Nigerian Bar Association has prayed the court to declare that the federal government's plan or threat to jail those who still use Twitter in the Nigerian cyberspace is a breach of the applicant's right to fear hearing and right not to be tried and convicted for an offense not prescribed in a written law. They also ask that the court issues an order to the federal government to stop the purported directives and orders to jail anyone who is found using the microblogging and social media site Twitter. The case has been adjourned to the 4th of October 2021 where it will be held again at the Federal High Court in May. Aside the President, President Mohamed Buhari and the Nigerian Communication Commission NCC, the Nigerian Bar Association also sued Abubakar Malami, who is the Attorney General of the Federation, and Lai Mohamed, the Minister for Information and Caution. Recall that on the 4th of June, the government of Nigeria officially suspended um, the use of the microblogging and social media site Twitter from the Nigerian cyberspace, ordering that network providers should not grant their uh, customers access to Twitter. Also, the media editor, the Attorney General of Nigeria, Mark Gadwa, also ordered for the persecution of Nigerians who were still using Twitter in the Nigerian cyberspace. Some Nigerian lawyers have said that they fear for themselves that they may be arrested due to the order that was, that was given by the NCC that no one should use Twitter in the Nigerian cyberspace, owing to the fact that the Nigerian Bar Association runs a Twitter account where every Nigerian lawyer is expected to have a Twitter account to connect with 
the Twitter account of the Nigerian Bar Association. Well, the case has been adjourned and we'll be here for the 4th of October 2021. So guys, what do you think of signing President Buhari's attendance at the Global Educational Summit? It has been revealed that it's actually a virtual a program, a virtual summit where people can actually attend from this, the comfort of their offices and there was actually no need for the president to travel to the United Kingdom. Although Fabian Destiny has said the main reason why he traveled was for him to be able to attend to his health, to see his medical uh, doctors and team in the UK because he has been using them for the last 40 years. What are your thoughts and opinions concerning these issues we have just brought you? Do not forget to drop your comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for staying with us till the very end of this video. Do not forget to go a step further if you have not done so. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Also, do not forget to like and share this video. Do follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and also check out our website at www.djmtv.net Guess what guys, from the 1st of August 2021, DJM TV offers you an opportunity to report your events from where you are on our channel. We call it Report Yourself to the World. You want to be a part of this great program? Then please click on our bow, send us a message, and we'll give you details on how to report yourself to the world. They are coming away again with another exciting edition of DJM TV Daily News Update. I remain your host, Laburu Faith. Yeah! DJ TV DJ TV DJ TV DJ TV